Fall now less than a week away. It's time to roll up your sleeves and get vaccinated against the flu. Joining us live now via Zoom is Dr. Wes Stubblefield with the Alabama Department of Public Health. And Dr. Stubblefield, how important is it that people get their vaccinations against flu and get them on time? So it's very important because the flu vaccine itself takes a couple of weeks to, de to develop the antibody response in the body. So we recommend people get this vaccine sometime between the months of September and October, not only to ward off against early activity, but to, to have longevity through the season into the early spring. Dr. Subbaville, a common complaint we hear is someone getting a flu shot, but they still get the flu. So for those people who use that as a reason not to get a shot, what do you say? So the flu shot isn't 100% effective. Uh, we know that the flu shot is a best guess. It happens um, from circulating strains that are in the Southern Hemisphere in the opposite season from us. We do the best we can to creating this flu strain that, uh, that, that contains four separate strains, but it's not always 100% effective, but it does in general reduce the risk of infection and reduce the risk of severe disease. So although you may still get the flu, you probably won't get it as badly as you would have. An RSV vaccine is also one that is provided to people and a lot of people may wonder what is RSV and what does the vaccine do? So RSV is a very serious infection from a virus that is typically associated with infant and young children illness. However, many older adults um, are hospitalized with this illness and it can, it can severely affect your lungs. So the RSV vaccine, although just approved this year, is just now making its way to, to uh, vaccinators. So the RSV vaccine is given as a one-time dose. It's, it's for anyone 60 and up, and it's recommended they talk to their healthcare provider or their vaccination site about their eligibility for the vaccine. We know COVID cases have been on the rise once again. Tell us about the latest round of booster shots available. So the, the newest booster or the newest vaccine is called the updated 2023-2024 COVID-19 vaccine. It is in the uh, strain that's in the vaccine has been updated to what's been circulating in the South and the United States. It is expected to be much more effective against these strains while also raising those antibody levels. It's uh, particularly important for those who are of uh, older age, those with underlying medical conditions, and those with immune system problems, because those people are very likely um, to get severe infection or, or even go to the hospital. So, um, so timely vaccination with COVID-19 vaccine, that should be hitting the vaccinators very quickly even in the last week, and I encourage everyone out there to uh, determine their eligibility. And Dr. Subberville, there are a lot of illnesses going around right now with children back at school. When should we know, hey, okay, this is something I need to go to the doctor with, or this is something I can treat at home? It's really hard. Um, you know, the younger the children are, generally, the more cautious you should be. Uh, fever isn't necessarily dangerous. It's, it's a marker of infection. It's more what your children look like. So if you're looking at them and they aren't, they aren't eating, they aren't drinking, they aren't breathing correctly, they aren't responding correctly, those are very, very, very serious signs. Um, and so, you know, we recommend starting with sort of the normal over-the-counter treatment that you would do at any point. And if you get nervous or you feel like you need to, that they're just not, you're, you're sense is as things aren't right, you probably need to see someone. All right, Dr. West, we thank you so much for joining us here on First at Four. Absolutely.